Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I'm going to show you how to build a solar furnace or a solar heater out of aluminum cans. I have a greenhouse. I'm growing cool weather crops, spinach, lettuce, onions in there. And my hope is, is that this solar heater helps keep the greenhouse going through December and January in my area. I'm in Maryland Zone 7. You know, in a perfect world I could heat the greenhouse to a temperature of 40, 50, 60 degrees through the winter and things would be great. What I hope is that this solar furnace helps me stay above 32 on a really cold day so my plants don't freeze out. The cool weather vegetables can take some frost, but I wanna see if I can warm it up without having to pay for electricity, so I thought a solar heater would be great. Let me go over the parts real quick. You need plexiglass, don't use glass. If it falls over, glass will break. This is an 18 by 24 inch piece of plexiglass. It's .093 millimeters thick, and it costs about $15. And again, this is on the smaller scale, but these uh, solar heaters do work. I've seen them online and they are effective and they will bring heat to your greenhouse. You could go bigger if you want to. I think I'm gonna end up making two smaller solar heaters. You also need some tubing. That's six feet of bilge pump hose. That was $6.99. You don't need to spend that much on a hose. If you can find something in your hardware store, you have it that's similar to these, just go ahead and replace it for something that's cheaper. You need flat black spray paint. You need a utility razor. Utility razor was about five bucks. The spray paint was $3.75. These are elbow pieces of tubing that I got out of the electrical department at Home Depot. You can use any kind of tubing, but one's gonna go on the bottom to bring in cool uh, air, and the other one's gonna go up top to circulate the warm air back into the greenhouse. You do need some duct tape. That was $3.80. The poly panel is what I'm gonna build the solar heater box out of and it is an insulation panel, and that's what you want. You want to form the box out of something that's going to keep the heat inside the solar heater. And that was six panels, cost $7.25. You also are gonna need a caulking gun, that was $2, some liquid nail, some silicon sealant, that was $6, and $2.60. The whole cost for the materials here to build one was $55. If you're gonna make a second one, and I'm gonna probably make a second one, the cost is about $31. And that's just because, you know, you don't use all that duct tape, all the uh, liquid nails and silicon or the spray paint for one project. You can really make uh, several of them out of the product. And even the solar, or I'm sorry, the uh, poly panels probably will be able to allow me to build a second frame. But to build a second one again, it would be about $31. You're also gonna need aluminum cans. This design is gonna stack four cans on top of each other and it's gonna be, uh, I think, five or six columns of aluminum cans. You do need to drill a hole into the top of the can. I'll show you how to do that whole process. And if you have a drill, that's great. If not, borrow one from a neighbor. If you don't have a drill bit that big, you could use a smaller drill bit and just put two or three holes into the bottom of the cans. I'm gonna show you how to assemble this in uh, several steps. Spraying on the side so that anywhere the sunlight's coming in, it's going to hit black paint. I also sprayed the aluminum foil. And then all you're going to do here is put a thick bead right down the middle. You don't want to leave any gaps because you want this to be sealed so no air is sucked in from the sides where the uh, plexiglass and the styrofoam meet. And it's also going to press out when you put the glass on it. So put a good amount of silicon down the sides of the styrofoam or your box if you're not using styrofoam. And a couple of things is this is only four cans high, five cans wide. And there is a chance that this is not, whoop, let me drop this. This may not heat up as much as some of the bigger units. If you have eight cans high or 12 cans high, the air that's coming in through here is really gonna have more time to heat up. But remember, I started this project to create some free heat so that I could send some into my greenhouse just so the temperature stays above freezing. I wanna be able to grow greens through the win winter here. And this is an experimental box, and you definitely, if you're heating something bigger or you want more, uh, warm air coming into a place, you would make these bigger. And I've seen videos for them if you're, if you're doing something to heat like a part of your house or something, they use 200, 300 cans in there. This one's only, uh, how many? 20. 
So just put a good seal down and I just want to make sure I don't leave any gaps. And if it's messy, don't worry about it. Nothing has to be perfect. And I'm going to do another video that tests, yeah, that tests the heat that's coming out of here. And you can see, well, let me get this. And you want to make sure you seal the piece that creates the manifold so air is not pulled up into the upper chamber. That looks pretty good. Before I put that on, I'm going to use tubing, probably cut this in half, and have tubing that's attached right here, piece of duct tape around it. And when you go to a hardware store, look for things that sort of match. This almost fits perfectly. A little bit of duct tape that will be sealed tightly. When I put this in, I just cored a hole out with scissors put some silicon into the hole and slid this piece in. Another tip is, is you don't want this to be pointed up in the air in case it rains. You don't want the water dripping into there. You may not need a tube depending on how you're using. But the tube will go in here. Half of this will go into the bottom of my greenhouse. Why do I want to put it into the greenhouse? Well, I want to pull that air in, which is going to be a little bit warmer, and send it through here. This will be sitting outside the greenhouse. Whoop. And then there's the outlet up there. If I had this sitting outside, it's going to bring in colder air. So I want to just circulate the air that's in the greenhouse. And then up top here, the other half will certainly go right up here, slide on, and that will go into the greenhouse. So the heat, uh, well the air in the greenhouse will circulate through the bottom, come up through here, be heated by the sun, and then go back into the greenhouse. And again, this is an experimental model. All right. Whoa, scissors. This is the plexiglass with the uh, plastic sheets removed and all I'm going to do is line it up, eyeball it, try and keep the edge straight, drop it down, square it up, press it down. I want to see the silicon spread and make good contact with the glass and the styrofoam. Let this sit for at least 24 hours. And this, and you can see it oozes over the sides, don't worry about it. This is the basic design for creating a solar heater. And you can make this scale bigger if you want. Obviously, you want to make it smaller. But I'm going to do another video that will just show you what the air temperature is outside, what the air temperature is coming out of the top two. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my other videos and also check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com. Thanks.